There's quite a bit of trial and error here. I added a 470 microfarad capacitor. For some reason it wouldn't work, the dark sensing circuit wouldn't work without that. Here you have it. And mistake number one, I drill a hole here and then I crack the reflector. So the remedy is to put a small foil to act as the reflector. This is actually mistake number one. I was trying to take the sticker off and I used a bit of uh, what they call uh, cement remover. And instead of taking this off, the cement remover melted part of the plastic, sort of. So it's more like a uh, frosted housing now but I didn't actually want that so I'm gonna use this one here that is all clear. I'm actually trying out this solar light in my closet and this is the the light that comes with this housing. So in effect if I put it all together I would have two solar lights in one unit. I like the housing, the clear housing, because you can see all the electronics inside. It's sort of like a mechanical watch that is transparent with the clear case that you can see all the little dials and springs moving back and forth. So this is kind of like that. You can see the LED, you can see the reflector, you can see the inductors and you can see the transistors so it's kind of neat so this is more or less how I envisioned it to be this is the stove board solar light for 250 this solar light that I made earlier works very well because it's powered by four double A batteries so it has enough power to last through the night this store bought one, two dollars, of course, uh, it doesn't really work that well. And this one here, we'll see. We'll see if it lasts through the night. See if that single double A battery can, uh, can power the uh, four LED through the Jewel Thief circuit. So this is how it looks.